So guys, today I am at the office. As y'all can see, uh, I've got my $12,000 um, uh, kayak picture from uh, New Orleans, Alaska, in Canada today behind me. Uh, I got my nice desk in front of me. Uh, and you guys wanna know why I'm at the office today? I have some very pressing matters to discuss today and I thought that I'm not, that um, my desk wouldn't wouldn't do the trick so I had to come to the office. Um, so scrolling through YouTube like most YouTubers do and uh, I was watching Stumble Across the Nuke 7. And so I was like, oh okay, this is like a numb uh, and I'm uh, interesting YouTuber. And so, scrolling around, I saw this video. It was trying to understand K-pop by buying the BTS meal. And so, in this video, he is reacting to K-pop and sing songs. It just roll the clip. You guys will see what I mean in a second. You can sing. You will have a six-pack. Thirteen-year-old girls will like you. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Sue me. As you guys can see, let's just roll the clip one more time so you can get a better understanding of it. Be like, yes, you can sing. You will have a six pack. 13 year old girls will like you. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Sue me. Today, we are here and we are going to prove the Nuke 7 wrong. We have done extensive tests asking hundreds of millions of girls, 13 year old girls, if they like cake pop bands. So we are going to roll some clips of us uh, asking them if they like cake pop, cake, cake pop, K pop bands or not. Roll the clips. Hey, uh, hello. I'm doing an extensive test on if teenage girls actually like cake pop. K-pop. K-pop? K-pop. Sure, sure, sure. So, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, K-pop? Yeah, K-pop. I'm a 13-year-old girl. Do you think I like K-pop? Yeah. K-pop? Yes. It's for emo girls. Do I look no. like an emo girl? No. Get out of my face. K-pop is for 12-year-olds. Go away. Alright guys, so I'm um, pulling up to this um, girl's house. I'm going to interview her real quick and see what are her thoughts on K-pop, so... Uh, hey, um, I'm here to uh, interview you on your thoughts about K-pop. Do you care? Are you serious? I am serious. It's like... 12 at night. Oh, okay. Well, can I still interview you? Sure. So um, uh, so I know that you're um, uh, 13, and um, I was watching the Nuke 7, and he said that all 13-year-old girls love K-pop. Uh, do you love K-pop? No. Why would I like K-pop? Oh, so you like it or no? Um, no. Oh, okay. Um, thank you. Proving you wrong, Nuke 7. So guys, as you could see from that extensive research and clips. 13 year old girls don't like K-pop. So today, we're going to be suing the Nuke 7. Give me, uh, give me a second to um, uh, eat. Uh, I, I, I didn't eat before we started this. Um, I just got in the office, so. I, I wasn't drinking and driving either. Went up the nose. So. The real question is, how are we going to sue the Nuke 7? So essentially, I have all of these documents up. Here's the lawsuit that we're going to be using against him. Here are some more documents that we are going to be using to sue the Nuke 7. These are all legit documents, um, as you all can see. Oh. More dot. We had to blur these out because these are confidential to the Nuke Sevens um, information. This is our lawyer, Daniel B. Johnson. He is going to be 
our lawyer against the Nuke 7. She is the best lawyer that we could find uh, for pretty expensive price. He's the best of the best. Don't look him up. He's a private lawyer. And this is the courthouse that we're going to be taking him to court in. Uh, I'm actually, I run this courthouse. So any case that I bring there will be passed in my favor. So today, the suing of the Nuke 7 begins.